Right, so back in video 1404, we made this thing, which is a rocket stove for mass heating. And it worked really well, and I really like it, but it has sat in the corner because it's a small version, so it's never going to be used to make a mass heater that's going to heat your house. But the principle's the same. Your fire burns about here. This is an extra air drawer. The air gets drawn in here. All those hot gases go here and heat this section. This section gets really, really hot. And that's the bit that you bang a load of bricks or cement around. And obviously, this is a four-inch version to try that out. But you do a bigger version, load of cement, load of sand, load of bricks whatever it is some mass you put around there and that gets hot and when your fire is done that stays hot and gives out that heating and that's why it's a mass heater and why it's great for heating your house however a small version like this is not so great for doing that because it's just a bit too small so the question is what do you do with it well I have uh, this thing <laughs> I know belongs to the gas company, but to be honest, nobody gives them monkeys about them. You find them all over the place, and you find people doing loads of projects with them, and we're about to do a project with it. Idea is, we bring these two together, we can put water in here, and then this will become actually an amazingly super fast water heater. So, we have to prep this up. You prep this up always the same way. Make sure it's empty your gas, take that bit up, Fill it with water, leave it for a bit, drain the water out. Okay, that's the basic boiler done. Now, we like to find this bit, remember, the air's drawn through here. This is for an afterburn because it, the hot gases in here are what heats up and this gets incredibly hot because we surrounded it by a jacket, so what it'll do is boil that water. Now, we can't close this unless we have a steam relief valve because it would just get higher and higher pressure, but our water comes in here and goes out here and to connect to them, I've got these, which are just ordinary hose clips. So we'll be using ordinary hose, and what we need is a reservoir. So we pop a reservoir here, that will heat the water in here and put it into the reservoir, and it will cycle between hot and cold, creating us an awful lot of hot water. So now what we need to do is create that reservoir. So for my reservoir, I've got a waste bin, and these are a couple of tank connectors, and there's obviously got a little tap on them, and we connect from here to here using a couple of bits of hose with some fast connectors. So that connects there and there, and then we fill it up. So let's put some water in, light the fire, see what happens.
look at that. That's a lot of water to bring to the boil in a few minutes. And if you look, you can actually see it steaming. That's 52 degrees. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit warm, eh? Now, easily, that's enough for a shower. And it's kind of a shame to let it go to waste. So, I'm going to have a wash. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's warm. That was definitely a bit too hot to wash in, I had to finish in the sink, but it got me clean. This was amazing, actually. It rose that temperature of a serious amount of water really relatively quickly. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, I suppose. I went and made a cup of coffee. But in that time, it boiled all of that water. And of course, what happens is the cold water goes in here. As it gets hot, it gets forced through here. And we get the circle of water going. And it just keeps on getting hotter and hotter until this will boil. So that's pretty awesome, actually. And stunningly simple to make, if you think about it. I'm sure people could come up with better and faster designs. But this was just super simple because we got a gas canister, cut a slice in it, and put our rocket stove in it. And that's all we had to do. So it made it very easy. Now, the same design, of course, is a mass heater. Instead of putting water in here to boil it like we did, pour some concrete in there or some mud or some clay or something like that and we'll heat up that mass, keep it hot even when the fire has died. And, of course, it is exactly what a sand battery is. If we fill this with sand, we'd have a sand battery. But anyway, an amazing and super quick, I suspect very efficient, water heater for heating water from a rocket stove. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.